Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and I recently received an auspicious package from Dark Zone. They sent me two of their newest blasters, and this is the one that I'm going to talk about first, because I want to play with it, so I'm gonna. This is the Dark Zone Max Outlaw Pro Level Hammer Action Blaster. We're going to take a look at it, we're going to run it through its paces, we're going to see if it lives up to the claims upon the box. The 120, 125 feet... I don't know that it has any FPS claims, but we will see if we can hit that 125. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm excited. Um, I have been hoping somebody, I didn't care who, but somebody would come up with a um, competitive level hammer-primed half-dart blaster. I didn't know if it was going to be Game Face or if it would be Dart Zone or who would come up with one. But... Uh, I'm glad that it's finally happened. So, taking a look at the box, we have the blaster, two cylinders, iPro, the iPro. Again, it's the things like that are why I have so much respect for Dart Zone is they provide iPro with the high performance blasters now. The more and more they're doing that, and that's just good because iPro should absolutely be standard within our hobby, especially on high powered blasters like this. Um, so, I'm gonna take it out of the box and uh, I'm gonna plank with it. Right, I'm in. I'm gonna scan the instructions real quick, make sure I don't miss anything terribly important, end up breaking it on accident. That would be embarrassing. Um, safety cylinder pops out from the right, reload from the right or the left. Tragic, we'll talk about that. Um, launching darts. Hammer, let it go, pull the trigger, charging your changing your cylinder, yep, yep. Clearing jam, yep, yep, yep. Alright! Well, I don't blather about it, but uh, let's go straight to the range and plink. And then I'll get you some fips, and then we can talk about it. Plink. Right, I'm here on the range with the outlaw and the noise. Nothing to be done about that. See if I can hit anything at all. I can. Can I hit the 50? Almost. Oh, so close. Oh, come on. Oh, right over. We reload. We reload quickly. We continue to try to hit the 50. Oh, just over. Just under. Ah! I got him! See so if we can hit a bottle. I got one! I hit another one? Nearly so much. And reload some more. Now the prime is significant, which you would expect from something that's hitting 120. Uh, but you can still easily get that one-handed prime. But, at least on my primer hand. Let's try my off hand. Ooh, I get to go uphill and feel tall. <laughs> can you even see the range anymore? You can't. Now you can. Can I hit anything right-handed? What do you know? Oh, that prime's definitely heavier. Come on, 50. Nope, too high. Oh, count it! I'm counting it! No, oh, no! I ran out of ammo. Go back to being short again. And reload! Adjust. All right, two more cylinders, and then I should go ramble and work on stuff. Aha, bottle. Meow. Meow. All right, we'll go for the ping. There's a ping. Can I get it from the hip? No. Try again. What? Round complete. Ha. Nope. Not even close. No! I will ping. I will ping. Sir. I dig it. Let's go talk about it. Right, let's get you your FIPS. I know how much you love your FIPS. 123. 123. 119. 121. 123. 117. So not only is it hitting that 120 mark, it's hitting it very consistently. That, that is fantastic. 
let's put another cylinder through it just just because I'm curious. Oh, that dirt has been over. Get stop it. Behave your spell. 126. 123. Really likes 123. 125. 113. 121. 122. Oh yeah, all right in that range. It's almost a scotch spicy for some HVZs and technically for Afterworlds. Afterwards doesn't allow half darts yet. So you might have to find a way to slow it down just a scotch. I believe you can, in fact, shove a scar barrel, scar barrel down that. Works. One moment. I'm going to find a thing after I pet this, this puma. Yes, hello. Yep. They made it compatible with worker scar barrels. Talk about understanding the assignment. Let's see what this does to our performance. 76. 66, 71, 73, 81, 77. So it may work with them, but it sure saps the performance. But that may be a good thing and a bad thing. I mean, that's getting us down to stock numbers. I'd like to see something, you know, that brought it down to not that far down. More tinkering is needed, obviously. All right. Now, let's talk about the thing. Right. Well, let's talk about it. Uh, this is fabulous. This is something that we have been hoping for, dreaming for, asking for, wanting for quite some time now. A high performance, you know, 100 plus FPS hammer primed revolver. And um, I, I wasn't sure who was going to get it to at first, but uh, Dart Zone got it. And what's interesting is they put it in the max line rather than the pro line, probably because it's still, you know, less than 200. Um, but I really, really like it. I like that they made uh, important parts like the hammer metal. They didn't go with plastic because that just wouldn't have been able to support the weight probably. The metal barrel, the fact that when you pull the trigger, the barrel seals. Madam, why are you assaulting my patches? Um, that, that barrel comes back and seals is just a really innovative design. Um, and, the, and they were able to get the 120 FPS out of it that we were definitely hoping for because that's HVZ, that's LARP, that's most Nerf War safe, that's, that's impressive. It is a heavy prime. Some people have complained about the weight of the prime, and I suppose you could put a lighter spring in there and get less performance if you wanted a lighter prime. Um, I can still prime it with both hands, but my right hand, it's a little bit trickier. Um, it's not nearly as fast as priming a hammer shot, but it's definitely more convenient than priming... Um, a top prime revolver like the Deuce. Uh, the Deuce got yeah, similar performance. Better if you put the longer barrel on it. It would get. I've gotten up to 140 out of the longer barrel, and I know people have modded it and gotten even better. Um, the problem it had, of course, was over rotation on the cylinder, which is a problem I haven't noticed on this one, as far as I've seen. Um, so yeah, I like it. Um, I like that they went with bright colors. That's nice as well. Orange and black I would have would have been my preference, and I will almost certainly make a pair and mod them up in orange and black. Now it did not come with a holster or a cylinder holder. However, the the files to print your own are available on their website for free. And I assume somebody will probably start printing them at some point and selling them. Uh, which I might do because I <clears throat> I am dubious of my printer's ability to print that thing well. Uh, I would also rather have them be Molly compatible than, you know, they're, they're designed to have belt straps put on them. And I would rather have uh, Molly. And I could probably make, figure that out on my own and then try to print them. Um, I'm tempted to try to print it in TPU and see if that works better than, say, PLA. Uh, just because it would be flexible. Um, I'll definitely probably print the cylinder holder, though I only have the one extra cylinder. Though I hear uh, someone has already developed files for the cylinder that allow you to then print your own, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, I dig it. I am pleased. The grip is very comfortable. Um, I can reach the hammer well enough, um, but then I do have big hands. I have heard some people say it's a little bit difficult to reach. It's not as convenient, but you do need that leverage. Um, so that's probably why it's designed that way. They could have made it longer, gotten more leverage, so you could have fanned it, maybe. I don't know. It doesn't have, well, it does have something that vaguely resembles Picatinny Rail, but it doesn't have slots. So I don't know if you could actually use Picatinny Rail things on that. I suppose you could 
cut your own slots or make an adapter or something if you wanted to put a, a flashlight or something down here or a pico booper or something and um, there's no top rail don't know why they didn't because i mean this one has top rail i don't know i had to make the rules i had to make their choices for them but i am very pleased that they have brought us this a hammer primed high performance blaster i'd be interested to see what they come out with next i also see wonder how long it'll take for people to turn this into a carbine because People do that, and then we can uh, we can hear Sergeant Deplorable uh, what he has to say about that. Anyway, there are my thoughts. I dig it. I'm gonna get another one. I'm gonna paint them up, and uh, I'm gonna have fun with it. Thank you for watching, and my thanks to uh, Dark Zone for sending me this. Send me more stuff. There should be an Omnia soon. Anyway, once again, thank you for watching.